Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. This is bizarre, guys. So we're going to look at some Earth change news, but this is something that falls from the sky during a lightning storm. And it's Julia Janelle's channel. Um, I gave it a thumbs up. You know, check it out. See what you guys think. She was just basically filming a lightning storm, right? A pretty spectacular one. And all of a sudden, you see kind of a light over here. And then something just plops to the ground. See? Right here, there's a little brightness right there. And then, boom, it looks like a body. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like a body falling from the sky, kind of. Boom. Boom, boom, blunk. <laughs> that was crazy, crazy. And you see it kind of go back up and come back down. Wow. Okay, that is bizarre. So I did a couple of screenshots. Um, blew it up I don't know I could see that being some sort of body it's kind of shaped like a body what did she witness is that not kind of freaky so, making it brighter, making it darker, playing with the color, definitely an object. What do you guys make of that? That's when it's just starting to come down. And there you see it as well. That is really weird, just weird. So I'll give you the link, go check it out, <laughs> watch it yourselves. We see we have a tornado that did slam Dallas, four killed in Arkansas and Oklahoma as well. Ripped homes and businesses apart, very intense. Uh, there is some video for you guys to look at here out of ABC7 News, massive damage. And as we said, four fatalities. And there's videos here as well out of the watchers. So we have massive sinkholes. We were talking about that huge sinkhole yesterday's video that was gigantic, caused 400 people to evacuate. Well, sinkholes are swallowing the shrinking Dead Sea, more than 6,000 just in Israel, craters forming daily. You know, 1990, there was 40. Now you have 6,000. That That's a big difference. That's not all is normal here. Just keep going. That's something's really screwed up. And uh, with the Dead Sea is drying up at an incredible rate, leaving huge chasms of empty space in its wake. And these enormous craters appear in the form of large, devastating sinkholes, some as deep as eight-story buildings. That is a serious hole <laughs> to fall into. Look at this. That is just incredible. The changes that we're seeing going on. The Dead Sea's water levels declined over 80 feet from 1939 to 1999, 60 years. And it shrunk by about one third of its mid 1960s volume. So the water level has fallen from 394 meters below sea level in the 60s to about 423 meters below sea level at the end of uh, 2012. So it's it's going, going, not quite gone yet, but it's heading there. We see we have a 6.4 quake. It hits Vanuatu at intermediate depth. So we're seeing that. The USGS is placing the depth at 140 miles, EMSC 147. 
and this is the area where it hit no deaths there severe floods forced 23,000 people to evacuate Niger and at least 23,000 people evacuating from this area again humanitarian crisis was already there and it's adding to what we're seeing across Africa eight dead after landslide and this is up in India it's been a lot of landslides a lot of flooding still going on over in that area Let's taking a look at quakes we see that we have a 4.6 off of Bandon Oregon so we've seen some activity over in this area you can see that line tracing right on down through and uh, there was a 3.5 over in Ridgecrest it was a little bit larger than what they've been getting still 139 quakes out of 343 that they're showing right in that area and we still do have quite a bit of swarming going on in Oklahoma a couple in Arkansas as well and we have asteroids 2019 UU1 and UG both flying past Earth within a, a lunar distance and we've talked about what's really going on out there is there really a nemesis is there really a nibiru is this all part of its entourage so these two flew by at 0.59 lunar distance and 0.84 respectively and here we see massive solar storms 2700 years ago recorded in ancient assyrian cuneiform tablets so these rare solar events including at least three massive solar storms have been found in ancient Assyrian cuneiform tablets the storms correspond to tree ring for me information as well showing that the events occurred around 660 BC so yeah almost definitely the ancients recorded uh, the ongoing of the heavens and farther back than that even as well and here we see New Zealand. The Met Service warns the South Island farmers to brace for heavy spring snow during lambing and calving season. And models are gaining confidence. UK and Ireland are set on course for a heavy early s snow season this week. So it's time to uh, start a fire and bundle up and maybe make something warm to eat. So a bird took down a U.S. Navy doomsday aircraft that was meant to survive a nuclear attack. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? So this plane's supposed to make it through a nuclear attack, but a bird strike took out one of the plane's four engines, and the Navy had to declare it a Class A mishap, and this caused more than $2 million in damages. So, you know, there you go and arctic bloom so with everything we see going on we see major changes underway flowers and rich vegetation blossoming only a thousand miles away from the north pole and it surprises scientists it looks beautiful so this this is at 70 degrees north and uh, you might not associate blooming with the arctic or pictures of a field of flowers like this daisies dandelions poppies horsetail wormwood Yep, it's all growing up there in the Arctic. And this is above the 70th parallel north in Siberia, so well up there. Pretty impressive and actually a beautiful scene. So how can a star be older than the universe? They call this the Methuselah star because they were estimating it to be 14.5 14 14 billion years old when they estimate the universe to be like 13.8. So how did it work? Well... They had to rework and crunch the numbers again to get within a margin of error that would still leave the star appearing to be slightly older than the universe, but within the margin of error. So, you know, this is again a life science, which is NASA NOAA. And they talk also about black matter and get into the speed of the expansion of the universe. And really it boils down to, they don't know, <laughs> you know, pretty much. They don't know. You know, they're they're doing their estimates, but we've seen things rewritten time and time again. And I still see comments where people say are referring to the stars in the sky and calling them the lights. And so many people still are of the mindset that these are like lights on in the heavens, maybe lights that the angels lit to guide us. 
Um, yeah, there's so much different thought all over the place out there. And uh, the honest fact is, you know, how much do we trust what anything mainstream is giving us? And then, you know, I got to question the people that blindly trust any one thing, even though it, again, is given to us by the mainstream. You know, so it's it's one of those things where we have to find our own truths and perhaps we should go within to find those. So again, I want to invite everybody to come join us on Patreon for just a dollar a month or more. You could support the channel and see some some videos that will not be up on YouTube. And we do appreciate the support. And then also head over to the second channel, EE Arts. And there are some different videos there as well. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell on both channels. As always, my friends, look forward to your comments. God bless. Stay safe. Stay prepared. Namaste.